The IRS typically begins accepting tax returns toward the end of January. An official announcement has not been made for 2024, but it's likely going to be somewhere around January 23rd or January 24th. Filing taxes early can be beneficial if you're waiting for a refund or are concerned about falling victim to identity theft. Filing your taxes isn't something most people look forward to doing, thanks to all of the paperwork involved. But, while it can be a hassle, there are also benefits to getting your tax return in especially if you are eagerly awaiting a refund from the IRS. So when can you start to file your 2023 taxes? Here's what you need to know. This is when the IRS will begin accepting tax returns. When you file your taxes for 2023, you'll actually be submitting the forms in 2024. Since you submit your returns after the year ends, that's always the way things work. You have to submit your paperwork after the year has come to an end, since you're taxed on all the money you made over the course of the prior year. The IRS has indicated that it will officially open the 2024 filing season sometime in late January, although the exact date has not been announced yet. In 2023, tax filing season opened on January 23rd, though, and in 2022, it opened on January 24th. So, it is very likely that the IRS is going to open up the door to accepting 2023 returns somewhere around those dates, perhaps as early as January 22nd if they stick with the theme of Mondays. This doesn't necessarily mean you actually have to wait to hit the submit button until then, though. The IRS also made clear that if you send in your return before the filing season opens officially, it will simply be held until the IRS gets its computers up and running and updated to begin processing the forms. Should you get your tax return in early? Getting your tax return sent in early can be a smart move. For one thing, if you are in line for a refund, then submitting your forms ASAP can mean the IRS processes them sooner and deposits your refund in your checking account at an earlier date. If you send your forms in early, you also reduce the chances of identity theft, which could happen if someone submits a fake return on your behalf since you'll be more likely to send in your real 1040 form before a thief can send in a fake one and try to claim a refund they aren't owed. You do need to make sure that you're ready to actually send in your paperwork, though. The IRS deadline for companies to send out important tax forms, like W-2s and 1099s, declaring your income, is not until January 31st. If you don't have some of the documents that you need, like information about your income or about deductions you're eligible for, then you have to wait. Otherwise, you might have to amend your tax return if these forms arrive later on. Once you have all of the information you need, though, there's no reason not to get your taxes done and submitted as soon as possible after the January deadline. Just watch for exactly when that deadline is, but expect it to be sometime during that fourth week of January, just as it has been in recent years prior. Alert, highest cashback card we've seen now has 0% intro APR until 2025. If you're using the wrong credit or debit card, it could be costing you serious money. Our experts love this top pick, which features a 0% intro APR for 15 months, an insane cash back rate of up to 5%, and all somehow for no annual fee. In fact, this card is so good that our experts even use it personally. Click here to read our full review for free and apply in just 2 minutes.